Well, I'm Tim Rice, um, I'm a doctor, um, and I'm working here in Vanga, Democratic Republic of Congo, the mission hospital here in a rural area of Congo. Vanga is a, a rural, remote rural um, city or community of about 12,000 population. The nearest paved road is about a three hour drive over a dirt road. Um, it's predominantly agricultural based. Congo is one of the poorest countries in the world. It has many of the worst health statistics. With poverty comes lots of difficulties in terms of health care. We're going to go down today to the surgery ward, both in the Beto. My name is Kathy Rice. We are here in Bonga in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and I am a nurse. I am the director of, nurse, the, director of the nursing school here in Bonga. So I've been working with our nurse, um, Mindeke. Um, we are, she is our first wound care nurse, and we're trying to implement some improved techniques to improve our wound care. Okay. Just we mama Kathy. The head of the nursing school is responsible for development of the school, the general direction and vision of the nursing school, and leading the decision-making committee that um, is the administration of the school. Je m'appelle Monsieur Kamosi, Maximilien. On m'appelle vulgaire, pratiquement Moja. Je suis infirmier anesthésiste à l'hôpital de Bangaïs. Ça fait au moins 38 ans que je suis ici avant. Oui, mon arrivée ici à, à Banga. Nous sommes venus rendre visite à notre maman qui avait notre frère cadet. Alors, c'est la salle où notre maman était hospitalisée avec notre frère cadet. Et quand nous sommes venus les rendre visite, voyant comment les élèves de l'ITEM étaient en train de travailler et traiter les malades, c'est comme ça que notre grande sœur aînée a préféré que je puisse venir aussi étudier ici. Elle tenait à ce que je deviens infirmier. Moi, je ne voulais pas dire, mais devenir infirmier pour aller traiter les plaies, ça, moi, ça n'entrait pas. Mais elle a tenu, c'est comme ça. Voilà, on va filmer des watch watch à ta mode. D'avril, pendant le congé de Pâques, je suis passé ici. On a passé l'examen à l'église ici. On était plus de 400 personnes. Ah. Il vous appelle, il vous remet les dossiers. Non, vous n'avez pas réussi, vous pas. Jusqu'à ce que nous sommes restés huit dans la salle. Le docteur Fontaine qui est entré, il nous dit, bon, vous qui êtes resté ici, vous avez réussi. Maintenant, ok, ce sont les salles où nous, on a étudié. On étudiait, on faisait les études le soir, de 18h à 21h. Et quand on éteignait la lumière à 21h, nous, on utilisait des lampes tempêtes à pétrole pour les études au dortoir. Et d'autres là où on habitait. Et c'est ici, dans cette salle ici, qu'on passait aussi nos jurys de fin d'études. My name is Judd Johnson. Uh, I'm a physician. 
This is my first trip to Congo. I had some ideas of uh, what I'd be getting into. So my host, uh, Pastor Leon Mukendi, uh, and uh, two of his associates spent uh, really the entire week uh, taking me around to various hospitals and clinics. Our biggest impression from the trip to the Congo is the Congolese people. So many people in Kinshasa, uh, on the streets and everywhere you look, um, each trying to do something every day to survive. And it looks like a hard city to s survive in. My first uh, impression of Vanga was really from the air as our uh, Cessna was circling uh, the village and uh, setting up for final approach. The village um, was larger than I expected and uh, the hospital complex even was also larger than I expected. I, I was, thought I was uh, fairly well prepared to be a teaching faculty, but was I prepared for hospital administration? No. Part of my confidence is uh, that uh, we have a team and I also have confidence that God gives me the strength and uh, helps me with uh, wisdom making some of these difficult um, administrative decisions. We teach nurses for three years and they have a couple of tracks they can choose from. All in all, I think we have a little over 200 students. They, they are renowned across Congo for being the best taught, best performing nurses in Congo. We have not had a lot of nurse um, volunteers. We would welcome nurses to come alongside and participate with us. Once I was on the ground and had a chance to tour, the campus uh, was, became uh, apparent. This is a very uh, busy, uh, complex, uh, large institution with a number of buildings, uh, lots of patients, family members of patients, uh, you know, in waiting areas outside the rooms. Actually, they did, as they said, uh, that with the neurologist here, we uh, ought to have you take a look at the patient. Okay. His, he initially had fevers when he came in. Uh, but now he's been a febrile. Clinically, he's doing okay, except for, for the Hemi persistent. Hemiplegic. Now it's been six days that he's been hemiplegic. So we're going. Volunteers come um, are always very, very encouraged to to be a part of what's happening here. And more than just coming and providing some medical care, you're really building into the future by teaching the future generation. Um, some of the skills and some of the, the basic kinds of things that, that, that you would know, you bring and then you leave that and then when you leave after two weeks or two months or 20 years, that sustains and is still there. Volunteers who come here are impressed with the size of, of the place, the beauty of the place, um, and just enjoy coming and, and being a part of what's here. So our vision is to connect uh, professionals who are in the United States, uh, give them an opportunity to come and teach here. Being able to bring some of the experts here to teach on site. Um, it's a teaching hospital and so our vision is to train the next gen generation of Congolese doctors and nurses. I've had a chance to interact with um, some of the residents over uh, a couple of uh, patients with neurologic illness um, that they've asked me to see. And uh, I had a chance to talk to the patients uh, through the interpreter, uh, examine them, and, and, and try to help with diagnosis and, and, and treatment. Ask the patient if they have any questions for me. Uh. Depuis que je suis là, c'est moi qui m'occupe presque de mes parents et de mes enfants, mes frères, mes, mes soeurs. Mais jusque là, c'est seulement le petit salaire que l'hôpital me donne. À part ça, il n'y a aucune autre opportunité faite par l'hôpital à mon égard. Nous entrons dans la grande salle. Mm.
si on peut trouver aussi des financements pour soutenir euh, certaines primes aux gens qui se, se donnent pour le travail, ça serait mieux. Ça va permettre à ce que ces gens puissent rester longtemps ici. Parce que quand ils travaillent bien, tout est OK. Mais, oh, parfois, ils sont découragés avec le fait des salaires qu'ils gagnent. Alors, là, Zolo. Ça, ça, on fait marche arrière, hein, techniquement. The things I'll treasure most are the people. They are so warm and loving and accepting. Um, and those friendships are the things that we treasure the most. Bonga, the Bonga experience is unique in that it's a teaching institution. And this gives a even a short-term volunteer the opportunity to have a long-term impact. Que ces gens-là puissent penser aussi à nous aider matériellement. C'est pour aider la population. S'il y a du matériel, si on peut arranger toutes les conditions possibles pour le travail, nous on s'est sacrifié pour rester ici afin d'aider la population de Dieu. Une femme qui est là avec son enfant, et elle a été abandonnée par toute sa famille, There's no, no one there to help her, and, and to be able to come alongside and say, well, we have a nutrition center here, and we're going to be able to help provide uh, some food for you um, and help you both with your physical needs, but also encouragement that, that there is a God who loves you and that hasn't abandoned you.